mitigation is settling things between two parties by talking now and figuring the best way. Mitigation to me is discussing, debating, arguing, talking, any of the above. Mitigation to me is having a backup plan in case of an emergency, um, maybe having you know some sort of solar insulation so you can have backup power to your house um, and be prepared no matter what. Mitigation is a pre preparation for the future in case a tornado or event like this would take place again. I think mitigation is when you got to get some irrigation and water out to your crops and you're mitigating the situation. Mitigation is helping you out after you've suffered a natural disaster. As you can tell, there's many definitions to what people feel mitigation is. But mitigation is a sustainable activity to prevent future loss for people, property, or possessions. Today we're a typical Midwest County Fair, one that takes place all across the Midwest through July and August. There's also features from the 4-H, a lot of agricultural features, the typical midway with rides and food booths and so forth, and a lot of exhibits from, uh, again, 4-H and the agricultural community. The purpose of FEMA's Community Education and Outreach Program is just that, to educate the community and to reach out to them, provide some information to them in the event that they have had a disaster, to get information to them that perhaps they don't know about or they can use to uh, react to and respond to what's happened. So one question we typically get from just about anybody in the public is, what can FEMA do to help? And many times they're not familiar with all the FEMA programs. Where there's a lot of information and misinformation out there, and they really don't understand just exactly what is available to them. The types of liter literature we provide to the general public varies depending on what's happened to them. Typically, if it's been a flood event or a flood disaster, we'll want to get information to them about how to, to deal with mold and how to perhaps flood-proof their, their homes and their property, such things as raising their uh, uh, washer, dryer, and furnaces. If, on the other hand, it's a wind event or a tornado, for example, we want to provide them information, just basic information about sound construction practices. That typically goes to a contractor more so than the public, but the public still needs to be aware that there's ways to do these things.